Morning everyone. I don't know if I've ever done any filming at the covert spot, but I thought I'd bring the camera along today. Um, as I said, he's been on holiday. I've tried to wangle a couple of days off so I can come down here. So one was Dave's last week, and uh, this week I've got a day, so I thought we'd come down um, and I'll do some videoing. But yeah. Here we are. Obviously the leaves are starting to fall, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, covert spot. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but we know, I don't know if you've seen Eddie's video, anyone, that we're going to do a bit of a tidy up today. And uh, give it a bit of a makeover. We'll at least strip this thing down, because it's, it's a pain in the backside, to be honest. It's right in the way, it takes up loads of space take that down and maybe do a bench along there and clear up all this wood here um, just make it a bit more usable and hopefully we might be able to find a bit of wood some wood some stone so we can do a, a circular fire pit just a small fire pit but I normally come in over this section when I'm here because I like a bit of space plus I can hang my hammock up from here today I've got the uh, Fairhaven stubborn, stubborn, and I bought me uh, other bags, oh, shoulder bag as well, because I wanted to bring the camera and other bits and pieces as well. So, yeah, we are I'll try and get as much video as possible. And uh, what I normally do, I do normally set up my towel up and a hammock when I'm here. This is sort of something I always do wherever I go. I enjoy putting it up and it's, it's been set up already in. So yet again it's a big bit of good practice. But yeah, I'll get on with that and uh, try and bring you along the way. This is a takedown pot hanger that I literally made a year ago and I didn't even know it was here. To, uh, I think it was Gary who picked it up. I said, oh look at that, and, you just, and it still works. It must have been a year, all the through the weathers and it's still Works, works a treat. So we just keep it here. But yeah, let me, uh, I think I won't put a hammock up. Uh, I won't put a tarp up, but I'll put the hammock up because it's ain't comfortable to see in. So there we go. That's my uh, belt pouch, which I always put on when I'm out. Um, Tarp I normally leave in here is the uh, Oscam Australian tarp and all I've got is my fire kit I've got the cook kit, what I'm using the Swedish mess kit today which I like to keep in that kit as well and somewhere in the bottom here cup, water food bag, always handy to have a cheap home mat or any type of mat to put your legs on and uh, here's my hammock which I'm going to use which is the DD Superlight which is a really good uh, hammock I think for weight, don't weigh enough and the tarp as well, I'm not a big lover of DD stuff but the Superlight gear is, is good, I'm impressed with it. in the bottom here. Oh and that's the uh, bug net for it. All that. And that's it really. It's tiny. go set up I made this bag uh, 
the uh, Swedish mess kit. Maybe a bit too tight because sometimes it can be a bit of a pain to get in and out. But yeah, it's just a it's like a wax canvas material. Uh, but I lined it. It's a burble, It's like a burble wax jacket, and all I've done is lined it with a thousand decodora, just to uh, know, just gives it more strength in a couple of pockets on the front, just for a couple of coffees really. belt pouch which I'll put on in a minute I have a little felt hiver knife and a um, striker in the winter time when you use methylated spirits it's always good to just pour some around the outside because it just heats the whole of the uh, burner and it'd be easier to start because mess is not the best thing in the in the in cold weather, so it takes a bit of work. We'll just get some water in there and we'll get going. So the belt kit I have on me, that goes on the, obviously on the belt, the pouch, and I have a phone, mobile phone pouch which I made. It's got my knife, goes there. Striker goes on next, which I normally put through that through the loop. That on there. Mobile phone. And the little sort of pocket knife. And it ain't too much. It don't weigh you down. Like any more than that, and I'll be struggling. So that sits there. That obviously goes in your pocket. You can just unclip it when I need it. The belt's on the back there, out of the way. Mobile phone, because I have to have the phone, everyone does. And that, which is not too bad, it's quite flim. Once you take the bits out of it, which I put on my belt, it's all good. And that's it. Now, any more on that, I'll be struggling, but that's fine. I don't, I don't like things too big and bulky around me. That's about the biggest thing I'll have. I won't have anything else more than that. So that's how I normally have my belt kit. Obviously, the axe, that's my saw, is a I'll show you a bit close up. So yeah, this is my backhoe, and I made this Kydex uh, sheet for it. And all I do when I need that, anywhere along here, I can just hook it onto. You can hook it onto me into onto this little hook there and that's it so if I go walk about I've got everything I need there so uh, 
and that's a quick release. You wouldn't leave that on there all the time. You just need it only when you need it. One other item I keep on me is gloves because you know when you're walking around or you're doing some wood prep or whatever it involves with wood, you know if, you, if you've got to go back and get your gloves, you mostly ain't going to do that. And what you're going to do is just cut your hands up or do some sort of damage to your hands. Um, but if you've got your gloves on your side, then uh, you know they're always there and they're easy to grab and get to and put on. These are, these are a new ones I'm just trying out, of which are the Black Hawk. Um, gloves, but they're, not, they're, they're Kevlar gloves. Fit really nice, um, but yeah, I always have your gloves near you. Just makes life a lot easier. Right, the water's almost done. Now, if anyone who knows me knows that. Uh, I love the Australian uh, water bottle pouches. I think these are such high quality, the best quality I've seen. And they fit the Crusader cup perfectly. Now in this one, I've got complete, I didn't even have to get all that out because I've got the, the burner at the bottom of it. But you can, and I use a bit of, you know, it's come out, a bit of wick. In there, and that works and boils up water extremely fast. Now, here we go with this. This is done. What I normally do, I always take the ring out, just the way I do it. Everyone has their own way, some leave the rings in there, but I always take it out. Oh, we've got a visitor. Sorry, because I thought, I thought, I thought sorry. No, this is the first time I thought I, I, I realised this. I think this is the first time I've ever bought the camera down here, or if I, I might have bought it but ne never used it. Yeah. So I thought we'd get another aspect of. Uh, if he of cam me was filming one, I'd, I'd have put my sash smock on that. You've, you've had the lot, oh, wouldn't you? What? <laughs> 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 Stop it! You're going to scare me, mate. You've got my gloves on. Need something a bit more formidable than that. See if I can work. I still tingle. Two reasons for uh, filming this one, because it's the end of an era, and two, because Marty Cuff's actually... <laughs> I'm, testing, I'm testing my hand. Yeah, no, yeah, what's your, what's your thumb there, mate? Yeah. I need some wire cutters. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to un un unwire that, mate, and we're going to be able to let them reuse the wire. Reuse it, so. oh, end of an era. But hey-ho, the dawns are new. Gotta move on, ain't we? Nice. That'll fit my burger. <laughs> Rubbish bag. <laughs> so, okay. And we can chuck all that crap that's there as yeah, well. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a clear axe in there, mate. A lot of that's just wood that we uh, you know, kindling. So. Anyway, yeah, bring it back, ladies and gents, once I've uh, had my coffee, and we're gonna split up and share the work later. It's nice watching Marty work, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just make most of it, don't have yeah, Now I know what it's like watching someone working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true mate, yeah. Especially when it comes to collecting firewood. Firewood. <laughs> right, here we go. Look at the space we've got now, mate. Unbelievable, isn't it? Nice one, mate. We could never walk in here before. No. We can even walk around the side there now. Yeah. And, uh, Good in and out. Nice job on that screen, mate. Yeah, I've tried to put up some sort of... Because when the winter comes, all the leaves fall, yeah. it yeah. gets really open here, yeah. so... 
just chucking them up there just to give a bit more coverage it? at least we can sit here and think because we sometimes used to do that don't yeah. we and all you need is something that's going to break up the outline if somebody looks through mate yeah know, all this camouflage stuff just break up an outline they don't know what they're looking at I think the, the leaves break and they'll clear it over after. Yes. Yeah. Um, as you say, that's the old fire break there, mate. Uh, the old fire break there. And we're using that wood as well. Actually, that looks a nice bit there. No, there's some good bits in there, okay. and there's some old crap, but the good bits were you. Um, and this is going to be the. We put a ridge line at the top there, and uh, we're going to have a higher table and just another table for chucking just bits and pieces. Yeah. You, you, you like sack, yeah. your jacket, or whatnot, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? And we're going to take down that chair in a minute, which we'll use the wood from that anyway. Yeah. Let's, let's talk in, more working. Oh, come on, hurry up, you two. Yeah, come on, pull your finger out. <laughs> Where's that um, bench going? Back well, we'll here. bring the bench back over here, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll make it a bit more. Because we've got all that space over there now, which we never had. Oh, mate, these what, this side or like that? Up on that, over, over here mate, I'd put it just about, somewhere about there, yeah. just there. <coughs> Look at that, there we go. Just saying mate, the old open knives make a pretty little pocket knife, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Razor sharp and uh, just you know, top pocket in my shirt. Like yeah, that. I've got one in my little, in the pouch on the side of me. And it's especially like when you're cooking food and you need like just a clean knife next yeah. to you, you just grab that. Well, I've all the way over there, mate. I've just gone. Actually, I've got that in my sky rocket. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Let's do some more. So, camp so far. We've uh, put our benches up in this location, just on the side bit, which we couldn't even get to before because there was a deadfall tree here, and uh, we could only mostly get to about here. But we've chucked the benches up. So we've got the firewood and we're just putting together basically just a, a low level table for chucking coats and rucksacks or whatnot and then a higher table. We won't get the, the top one done but we'd, we'd finish off the bottom one today. And uh, looking good mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we're uh, cooking some lunch now, which is very easy, which I like in the old hydrated pastas. Hydrated pastas, you know, just chuck them in, they're no, cheap, but they give a good meal and they don't weigh nothing. So I've got the, got the transier on and that's what I'm doing now. Lunch, if you can see in there. They're all right then, pasta dish things, you know what I mean? They don't take away anything. Easy to shoplift. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and we've got a little set up over here now. Little table, a couple of benches, a uh, worktop for doing a bit of whittling and carving the spoons. So, it's been quite a chill out, relaxing, productive day, isn't it? Yes, mate, yeah, very nice. Uh, like I say, 90% of what you do never gets captured on the camera. Right? No, no. Even though I don't think I've done a lot of filming, but it's just, like, as I said, get it done. Gas, bruise, get it done. Mm. And a nice little central area for the fire. Yeah, we're into, into now, the middle wise, can't now we? we've got a nice, clear, central bit. It actually looks more like a camp now, I think. Yeah, I just think it's, well, it had its, had its day, mate. Yeah, it? yeah. Like, yeah. No, it just collapsed, didn't it? We just pushed it and it just fell over, yeah. 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 I thought the kids put that on myself. Yeah. Keeps, keeps sitting on things, doesn't he? Breaking them. <laughs> <laughs> Only sat on your A-front. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that looks a bit better if somebody does come in. Because it doesn't look like instantly. Oh, blimey, they're starting fires in my wood. No, I see. Because I don't know where like proper rain is. And, you know, on the ball. Yeah, we know what we're doing. <laughs> I'll just get another brew on and a thing. Bye! <laughs> Here we have uh, Mike Cuff, we've worn him out. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up, it's working again. No, you've got, to, you've got to do some work, mate, picking people up and that. So, cheers, really appreciate seeing you, mate. And, 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 and thank you. I'm, I'm not going to mention the word golf. Because if you do anything golf, mate, I'm just unfriending you on every single level. He's off, he's off. Take care, mate. And again, ladies and gentlemen.
it's all recyclable stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's all come down in that, mate. And uh, like I say, the long pole, that's from that tree that's down there. So if I come Sunday, I'm going to put another couple of bits of it, mate, just because it'll go rotten. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so all recycled, what you can see there. Nothing has been, you know, you can see all the, all the animals. I think my mum is a bit of a I say, do you know when your burgers, mate? They go, yeah. Yeah, I like that big one. There you go. Anything else you want in? You name it. I'll say, yeah, you can go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm being horrible for the man. I don't even know him. No. Uh, but yeah, no, no. It's fine, but no, you've got a job of work to do, mate. Yeah, and it'll come together once we get it. Uh, that done. But it really, I'll go back now. We've still got this eighth grade. We've got here. those more space there, haven't we? Yeah. That's turned into the table and storage area. Underneath. There we go, this is saying that at his head for God, four years or more, I think. About, yeah, no, uh, that's well, since early doors, mate. I bought it off the market in uh, Little Braintree and uh, I paid him, well, it's up for sale, mate, so I don't want to say how much. Yeah, yeah. Him. Uh, I'm, I, I, I just unrolled it a little bit and I thought, right, I know what this is, but does it? Yeah. And he sold it to me as a Gore-Tex DPM mini bag, which is fair enough. Um, and it sat there and that, mate, it sat there and that. Um, and it's double hooped, as you can see here. Yeah. But what is, and I do mean, like never seen before, rocking horse poo, literally. Um, these, I'm gonna wrap a bit of tape around there, but these are the hoops that go with it. Yeah, you don't yeah. normally see them, mate. Yeah? Got tight points galore. That, we just put it up quickly, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and there was a guy specifically, well, I wanted to see if these were worked anyway. Got these £12.50 bloke off the trade post. He was selling somebody, he said, yeah. unreal price. Yeah, yeah. Um, I said, have you got any spare poles? And he come back to me and said, yeah, £12.50 posted. I thought, blimey, mate. You know. Yeah. Uh, so, long story cut short, anyway, um, the guy, um, he just say, like, I'm having trouble getting the poles in. We didn't have no trouble getting no, the poles no, in there, mate. Uh, you just got to be, like, proper, be... A bit, a bit confident with it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, there going. Give yeah. it a bend and get it in there. Be very positive with it. And again, that's, that's not too problem there. Um, but, yeah, um, let you see, it's as long as you like. Um... Well, there's enough space in there to get yourself in there and also put your bag at the yeah, top end. It, yeah, obviously it unzips at the front there, ladies and gents. It hasn't got a side zip. Keep it simple. Yeah. Um, and it'll work. Uh, a few temp pegs. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we are looking pretty crazy because these go for money like you wouldn't be unreal because it ever so rare, mate. Yeah, no. I, I, I think it's a... Yeah, beautiful sort of... Uh, rubberized nylon on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's Gore-Tex on top yeah. and rubber underneath yeah. it on the bottom yeah. of it. Yeah, butyl nylon, they call it. Yeah. I do love that sort of, but yeah, no, that's proper what you want on the floor there, mate. And this is one's printed uh, 2009. Yeah. Just say special forces, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Which is quite strange, really, mate, because if special forces are using anything, they, they want to go in sterile. Yeah. But, you know, th there it is, that's what it is. That's, that's the British Army equivalent of the Dutch hoop bivvy. Um, and the only thing, it hasn't got you know, is uh, a zip down the side because you enter from the top end. <laughs> and the, and the, yeah, as I, I said earlier, once you put the, the the top unzip it, you sit on that bit there to get into yeah. it, and then you zip it up and you're in it. Yeah. But so. yeah, that is a result, mate. A total result. Ever so rare. Yeah. And like I say, the poles, even though they're white, whack a bit of electric tape around there. Absolute rocking horse. You know what I mean? Poo. You just don't see me. No you quality. Get. Nice one. So, again. As I'm, there's a Bergen. <laughs> uh, this may be um, for sale. I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, I, I, I like it. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Yeah. But am I going to use it? Is that it? Yeah. I mean, if I was in the army, like, I'd be like proper fighting it to get hold of one of these and that. Even though they're on MTP, but it don't really make no odds. No, 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 no differences. So, you know, you can even do an OP from that and you camouflage this. You know, oh. it's going back a bit, but really is a rare item, mate. And that's obviously brand new, isn't it? Oh. Not even been. No, it's great. Oh, it oh, that's it all packed up. It's actually really, obviously you put that in a dry bag, shrink it right down, that won't be nothing, will it? That's about, I think that's a little bit less than a, an army basher. Yeah. About the same, mate? Yeah, yeah. That's about the same as an army basher. Yeah, yeah. A little bit smaller. But that's it. You know, and I, I want to just roll it up just to... Yeah, yeah, if it's stuck in a dry up. bag, shrinked yeah. up, that'd be even smaller. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that. I think you're taking fancy for them. Oh, God, you don't say that. <laughs> he's, 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 the brain's thinking, mm, dibble, 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 dibble. I've seen dibble. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's just all done for today. Um, the sun's out. Eddie's just finishing off his last bit of packing. 
I've seen to be taking out a load of stuff. <laughs> but uh, no, it's been a good day. It's been quite productive, and we've got some bits done. And it's all been good, and it's been a lovely day, isn't it? Weather-wise, been superb. Is any with his new rucksack? He's carrying more. SF. Pimped He's pimped it out. Wouldn't expect anything less, mate. No. This is a working progress, mate. I've got it for a nice part, so I don't mind. Back the back of it. Now, Russian thing on the back, yeah, yeah. Two side patches, and I think she's been doing a little bit higher. So that's no lock. I'm going to put a circle of Cordon oil around it, and then do you know, like with the two clips, roll it round, you know, yeah. dry bag style. Yeah. Straight, and that will give me a little bit more height. Because they, they, they do go up and down, though, don't that's they? Lid, mate. Yeah, yeah. Best invention since. I don't know. He <laughs> no, can't, you, you know, carry more stuff, he can't beat it. You know, a bit like, you know, the burger stuff, you know, it's all good quality gear. And like, this has got like, obviously, I bought it from that Hangar 39 in Colchester. Yeah. And uh, obviously, we had a dibble, mate. Um, it's got a little, I'll show you, it's not perfect, mate. There's a little, was it? A little bit of wear there. Yeah, I've got that stuff. But nothing on a glue a patch on the inside, yeah. that's how you repair that. Might even do a little film of that. Nothing, mate, nothing. But that went from 40, sorry, 45 to 30. Yeah. You know, it was like proper <laughs> <laughs> excitement there. Well, wasn't it? it was rude dibbling, mate, rude, <laughs> rude, rude haggling. All right, that's it then, we're going. So uh, we will see you on another video. Ta da.